I had a grant from NASA. I wanted to do something sustainable so that generations of students would benefit and researchers as well. I realized that the next step is uh, data visualization. What we are seeing with bringing in this high visualization interactive wall is a model of what we think classrooms are going to be looking like in the year 2030. We really wanted to build here in our center the classroom of the future. We chose ThinkHub because we were looking for a visual display with a collaboration element, and that's what ThinkHub provided. It's tailored to what we were planning to do. We can show nice images of galaxies. We could go to human brain and study that. The students who come and see that get interested in science, get interested in STEM fields, in computing, in starting to write softwares to visualize things themselves. Before we were in like this really, really tiny conference room, there would be like this one whiteboard and he'd be the only one like drawing on it. But now here, like students can go up and write things down and they can talk to other students and there's a bigger, more collaborative space. So it's way different than what it would be in like a huge lecture hall. You see like people forming their little cohorts and like talking problems out and talk to people around you who could also help you and you get to like form a peer network. ThinkHub definitely makes learning easier, for me especially, because I'm a hands-on learner. Traditional classrooms, you don't have too much hands-on activities going on. However, in this ThinkHub, we have a lot of writing activities and we're able to write out our own solutions and problems and communicate with others. Professor Hartman has done a really great job in incorporating this space into our learning. Here at UCR, my main real focus is on chemistry education, finding new ways to engage students and help them overcome those barriers to learning. With technology like this, it allows you to more seamlessly integrate applications and further the student's understanding and interest, ultimately, in the subject matter. And the students really thoroughly enjoy it. You can tell from the look on their faces, you know, how much interaction you get from them. It's, it's a night and day difference. By utilizing technology such as this, you can integrate different instructional styles and meet those students wherever they are with whatever methods work best for them. One of the things that's great about having a 27-foot interactive video wall is that you have a lot more ability to display data that doesn't fit into just a square box. We really wanted something where both the instructor and the students would find this to be a tool to help them understand very complex topics. Something that truly surprised me was the fact that we can have multiple people up here at the same time, all annotating at the same time. They can work together as a group, be able to learn from each other, collaborate, contribute to drawings, and this is an endless platform. We have an informal setting where the students are encouraged to come up here. You know, they're loving it. They're jumping in. They're able to have that peer-to-peer -peer interaction. I'm able to kind of float around, encourage them to come up, share ideas. Really, the sky's the limit. This is still very early adoption in the educational sector. And so we had to rely a lot on T1V to help us through the process. And so T1V was very responsive to our needs. We found them to be very good partners to help us problem solve in real time. So we're very happy with T1V. T1V has been very helpful in the success of this project. They work with us in the continuous development, feature requests, changes, adjustments. So it's been a great experience.